at this lonely crossroad in the Carpathian Mountains, four travelers find themselves abandoned at nightfall by a local coach driver who was afraid to go any further. There's no driver. A coach with horses that knew the way, a table laid for four. Was this kindly hospitality? Isn't your master joining us for dinner? No, sir. I'm afraid not. Is he indisposed? He's dead. Why should a dead man be interested in entertaining guests? <laughs> Dracula, Prince of Darkness, King of the Vampires. For ten years, his mortal remains were cherished by his faithful servant, awaiting the opportunity and a victim to provide the life force for the reincarnation of Dracula. A strange premonition warns the guests at Castle Dracula that their host is ready to receive them. I must kill him. He is already dead. He is undead, Mr. Kent. He can be destroyed, but not killed. You don't need Charles. <laughs> Rasputin, the Mad Monk, history's man of mystery. At last, the real shocking story can be told. Ah! Rasputin, the mad monk, goaded by an insane lust to dominate and destroy. His mystic powers and physical strength made him the most dangerous man of his time. No one knew him. They only feared him. <laughs> will apologize for laughing at me. Now look here. You will come to me and say you are sorry. But look here. Get out, Boris. Get out, but I live here. Oh, this is my own. I am not a peasant woman. What are you? I am lady in waiting to the Tsarina. You're very beautiful, little Sonia. <laughs> taking the little Tsar to the frozen river. While you are there, you will see to it that he meets with an accident. He will be hurt, and you will send for me. You will go away and destroy yourself. Grigori, no! Here is the amazing true story of the man whose evil genius still fascinates the entire world. The ladies of the imperial court adored him. His hypnotic power mesmerized even the Tsarina herself. Now at last, the real shocking story can be told. He has the Tsarina in his absolute power. Under hypnosis, he can make her do whatever he wishes. Do you understand what that means? He must be destroyed before he destroys us all. But can they kill? This man possessed by superhuman powers of evil.
this coach is bound for a terrifying destination. <laughs> But no corpse can remain at peace in this village of the undead, this land of the zombies. In this place, no one is safe. No one can hide from witchcraft, superstition, and fear. No! Even Sir James Forbes, the clear-headed man of science, was forced to accept the horrifying facts. Young Martinus also says that he saw something on the moors, something that he insists was his brother. But we know that his brother is dead. We also know that he is not lying in his coffin. Someone in this village is practicing witchcraft. That corpse wandering on the moors is an undead, a zombie. A place dominated by men without morals whose bloodlusts are excited by hunting a human quarry. When Sylvia Forbes hated the young squire, it was dangerous. But when she fell in love with him, it was lethal. time, Peter. It's Mr. Spaulding. They found him this morning. Just like the others. Just like the others, he died in the night. Get away from there! Get away! Shh. Suddenly, violently, horribly. Shh. This is an evil place. Corrupt and evil. Evil, as venomous as a snake, turns the quiet of this village into a writhing hell on earth. Where every man fears for his safety and his sanity. Where everyone is suspect. Do you mean they died by some sort of magic? Some witchcraft? For the first time in my life, I'm frightened. Everyone is frightened. The doctor who'd lived his life in the East. This man, who could be the next victim. This woman and this girl are frightened, hypnotized by the crawling, creeping spell of the reptile. Stop! Shh! Pack your things, we're leaving. No, Dr. Franklin. You are not leaving. I could kill you. Possibly. But you could never be free then, could you? And what would happen to little Anna then? Trapped like animals in a cage and getting closer and closer, suffocating them with terror. The reptile. Frankenstein, the name stands for fear. Frankenstein, he shocks the world as he mocks the devil. Frankenstein, he creates monsters of men. Frankenstein's most terrifying experiment comes to life. Frankenstein created woman. Who am I? Who am I? You see, a shield of indestructible matter. What is it for? 
What is it for? To give life after death, my friend, that's what it's for. Life after death. Peter Cushing as Baron Frankenstein, who crosses swords with Satan in his fight for immortality. He lives. See, hence he's alive. Susan Denberg as Christina, the deformed creature transformed by Frankenstein to a living beauty. Within her, a dead man's revengeful urge to kill. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, Christina. Forley Walters, the doctor who helps Frankenstein to violate the laws of nature. Christina, my dear, that man possesses such power such knowledge that well, sometimes I don't even understand him myself. Hans! The boy Hans is the tool of the Frankenstein experiment. <laughs> These boys are the cause of it. Hans! Hans! Come back! He's come back from the grave. Somebody's brought him back. that began in ancient Egypt. Take Kato Bey! Take you! When Kato Bey, a son of Pharaoh, died in the desert and was covered in the shroud that bore the sacred power of life and death. What was he saying? He says that death awaits all who disturb the resting place of Kato Bay. Warning to every creature of flesh and blood, beware the beat of the cloth-wrapped feet. Beware the curse of the mummy's shroud. This is the leader of the British expedition who came in search of the tomb. <laughs> the rich and ruthless financier who believes money can bribe even the devil himself. This is the son who knows there is no escape. Someone or, or something is trying to destroy us. I believe it'll find us wherever we go. The wife and mother trapped by the mummy's shroud. Ah, I, I see death. This is Haiti the crystal gazer who sees into the past and the terrifying future. This is the girl who is doomed, cursed by the mummy's shroud. You mean I'm going to die? <laughs> In a few minutes from now. <laughs> kill her! Kill her! Dead a thousand years, now he lives and breathes to avenge an ancient curse to strangle the living, raise the dead, and prey upon human flesh. That's a superstition. Now, there you are wrong. The power of darkness is more than just a superstition. It is a living force. 
which can be tapped at any given moment of the night. Why, on one night of one year, should these people live in mortal fear? who knows he must fight the devil's power to the death. Oh, my God. Don't look at the eyes, Rex! Eyes, eyes, once filled with love, are consumed with fear. For Tanith is now promised to the devil. Listen carefully to what I say. This is Makata, the devil's chief disciple. Your will is leaving you, slipping away. The Devil Rides Out, from bestseller author Dennis Wheatley's famous novel, fills the screen with a special kind of visual terror. Oh, you think quickly! Back to back, joint hands! You will hear his evil. You will feel his evil. You will see his evil. If we once catch sight of his face. Fetish men. Black witchcraft as real as an African nightmare. Academy Award-winning Joan Fontaine, star of some of the screen's most memorable motion pictures, slants a new angle on the story of the witches, the devil's own disciples. Let me pass. I've got to phone the police. It's where Stel said he's dead. The witches, the devil's own. They live in the dark, superstitious jungles of Africa. Who are the witches? I saw it. You saw what? She stuck Linda's hand in the rollers and turned the handle. What? She put Linda's hand in the mangle. Starring Joan Fontaine as the head teacher, target of the witches' cunning in two continents. Daphne, where are you? This is the journalist with an inside knowledge of witchcraft. Witchcraft? Hmm. Somebody having a little dabble? Yes, I would think so. It's a sex thing deep down, of course. Mostly women go in for it. The rector without a church in a village without hope. Did Stephanie tell you about me? About my not being a priest? The witches, the devil's own. Who are they? The witches know, but witches don't talk. They could be dressed in the skin of a butcher disguised in the innocent garb of old Mrs. Rick. Go after her. Who are the witches? They hypnotize the innocent, bedevil the unsuspecting. running from? What have they seen? Whom do they fear? There are five million answers to these questions, and every one of them is a shocker. No, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, it Terror, five million years old, spills into our time to make two worlds collide.
what is happening here and now can affect the next five million years. It was what I was afraid of. The thing got a huge intake of energy. The very substance of it seemed to be coming alive. And then, and you can't see this world any longer. They feel it. They see it. The archaeologist who digs back into the past to unearth more horror than the human mind can bear. Quatermass, the scientist, who comes face to face with five million years of terror. Rony, it's Barbara. She's the one. Get down here, quick. She can see into the pit and knows the terrifying truth. Oh, man. Oh, he can see into the pit, but he will not believe what he sees. They were coming. Who? What were? Them. Them. He saw the creatures. They were alive. Alive? You descend into the pit of hell as you share their horror. Listen, I'm advising you all to leave. There may be grave danger. <laughs> but a moment. Here, where the present and the past tremble in the presence of the prehistoric, from here comes an adventure so big that only the big screen can do it justice. What is it? <coughs> the lost continent, discovered in all its monstrous horror come across anything like that before. A living hell that time forgot. <laughs> this is the man who brought them to the lost continent to face the terrors of the past. <laughs> the lost women on the lost continent. Her past drove her here. Didn't they expect me to leave with nothing? Her future begins here. Oh, hey! His life could end here. Now the horrors from the past meet headlong with the terrors of the future. I'll miss because it's dry. But one drop of water. Touch it. You will see torture pits for forbidden lovers. Barbaric sacrifice. No! Monster weed attack helpless beauty. Seed. Giant mollusks. See them fight to the death. See man struggle to destroy the evil of the lost continent. From the novel Uncharted Seas by Dennis Wheatley. Look out on the starboard side! A living hell that time forgot on the lost continent. band of men on a perilous search for the man-beast of Tibet, the abominable snowman of the Himalayas. You've heard of him, haven't you? The world's most shocking monster. No one's ever lived who's seen him. Be on your guard. He's coming to this theater. 
the abominable snowman dares you. We dare you. Dare you to see the abominable snowman of the Himalayas. What did it look like? Tell me, what did you see, Kusang? Tell me! I see, I see what, what men must not see. They know it was me that did it last night. They're after me. They're after all of us. They just killed McNeigh. Why say what? that? It was an accident. It's me next. They know it was me. Stay here. Oh, wait. Ed, I can hear you. I'm coming. You've got to understand that isn't Shelley. It isn't anybody. I can hear his voice. It's in your own mind. It's just yeah. happened to me, too. Warning. Only those with stout nerves and strong hearts should risk seeing the abominable snowman of the Himalayas. as though the devil himself is in pursuit. And well he might, for he saw what no man has ever seen before. It's on its way. The man on the main gate had it just like the others. It's coming in on the west side. Look! There it is, on the roof! Three experts in science and security lead a band of men who try to find a way to exterminate X, the unknown terror. Only to find a tunnel of fear from which there is no escape. Dean Jagger as Professor Royston, top secret scientist. Edward Chapman, Elliot, in charge of lab operations. Leo McKern, Inspector McGill, security officer. down by the hundreds, get Hall. Listen, listen very carefully. If you ever hear a sound like this, run for your life. Run, run before it is too late. For if you stay, you will lose your soul. Coming closer, closer, closer is an enemy from outer space. Out of this world it came, a horrifying terror that threatened mankind, haunting and possessing every human being within range, an indestructible danger beyond all earthly understanding. Vincent Broadhead is dead. Dead? I watched him die a few hours ago in that plant, his whole body covered with some kind of corrosive poisoning eaten away. It poisoned everything it touched. The mind and the body of man was no longer in his control. They ran from this unknown menace, but there was no escape. We're holding this block. We've got to. At least until the oxygen takes the place. What's in those doors, mister? Yes, what is it? Kill us. Inside those domes are creatures from outside this earth. Ah, you're mad. I've seen them. Thousands of tiny creatures that can join together and expand into things 100 feet high. to 
the sounds of the jungle. Listen, but don't stop, for this is Kulnaka country, where legend says no man may pass this way and live, where the devils of darkness guard the ancient secrets of an unknown world of women. Prehistoric women, entombed in a green paradise of evil and witchcraft. <laughs> Why did you come? I can only believe the fates brought me here. And they brought you to me. Kari, the Amazon queen who rules her secret kingdom with primeval cruelty. Saria, the fair-haired one, the slave of Kari and all her wicked entourage. But your men, where are they? They are no longer men. <laughs> David Marchant, the white hunter who trespasses against the boundary of reality and reason to find another world, another time, another kind of woman. I am queen here. I will not be denied. Tomorrow you will learn what happens to those who try to master me. And see the men who are the prisoners of Kari, the evil one. Ah. You will witness the strange, compelling dance of the slaves. Ah. You will watch the ceremony of selection when a young maiden is chosen to be the bride of the devils of darkness. Ah. All this you will see and more as the legend of the white rhino unfolds before your eyes share the frightening world of prehistoric women. She was made to be queen. This warrior woman who challenged men with her courage and taunted them with her flesh. The Viking Queen. Starring Don Murray as the fearless leader of the Roman Death Legion. International beauty, Corita, the Viking Queen. Born to rule, love, fight. You will wear armor and carry a sword in your right hand. See the accursed blood rites of the Iceni. And we shall make a virgin sacrifice. See men roasted alive in the cage of hell. as barbarism and passions inflame a pagan pleasure empire. This land will run with blood. See the occult terrors of the Druids as the Roman lash tries to tame the will of a golden goddess. See the bladed chariots of death challenge Rome's mightiest legions. These and a thousand other sights of savagery and splendor are yours to behold. As a temptress turns warrior to conquer a world of men. The Viking Queen. A yacht in the Mediterranean. A day for quiet pleasures. But for this girl, disaster calls. What happened? The girl went over the side. George went in after her. Who is she? Where does she come from? The answers lie 2,000 years back. 
2,000 years of vengeance that reach into our time to tell the shattering story of a goddess queen and a lost world. Aisha! <laughs> Olinka Barova, a new star. Olinka Barova, a new face, a new beauty, as she. Remember the name, you'll not forget the woman. She has returned, and two different worlds in 2,000 years cannot save the world from her vengeance. John Richardson as Calicrates, the immortal one. Aisha has been reborn. She is mine. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Carol! Edward Judd is the man she loves, from the world she knows, who follows her to Kuma to reap 2,000 years of vengeance. <laughs> Got him! Oh, John! She has returned in our time to make two worlds meet in vengeance. challenges a tyrant and his men to crush a rule of terror. I could kill you now, but you'll make a very fitting dancing partner to that other traitor, Scarlet. I'll run you through if you say again that he's a traitor. A challenge for Robin Hood, a fight for a prize of gold. A challenge for Robin Hood, to spring an innocent man from a baited trap. You are gods! Gods! Take him, take him! To the gallows with him! Robin Hood, the nobleman who became an outlaw. An outlaw who became a legend. Come on, man! Who defended the weak and defied the strong. Here he is with his merry band of men, the bustling Friar Tuck, battling Little John, the villainous Roger de Courtenay, and the lovely Maid Marian. A challenge for Robin Hood. The big screen is ablaze with his daring new adventures. It's happening right now in London. New York could be next. Or Paris, or Rome, or Tokyo. It's happening right now to this girl. Perhaps it's your turn next. We are not dealing with ordinary criminals. The real force. It's more sinister, more obscene than any monstrosity you can think of. Lord of corruption, master of the undead. Count Dracula. Nothing is too vile. Nothing is too dreadful. You need to know the terror.
that what you want, Count Dracula? A last blaze of utter horror and violence, ghastly annihilation of an entire planet. Is this your own death wish? I call upon you to witness my supreme trial. and turn them into zombies. You haven't seen Kung Fu until you've seen the seven brothers and their one sister in action against Dracula. and their one sister meet Dracula. If you're looking for trouble, you're staring it right in the face. This is the man called Shatter the toughest professional in the extermination business. I'm a professional. I get paid for my work, always. In his own unique way, he's the most dangerous man alive. That's why everybody wants him dead. You are bad news. You are on your own. Completely on your own. That's what I call you. Try each other. That's not the name. Yeah. More like a way of life. Also starring Tai Lung, the dynamic new king of Kung Fu. Tai Pa, he is the master. Master of man's deadliest weapon, 
the human body. Shatter, you're marked. You're wearing a neon sign. For the first time, a combined thunderbolt excitement of kung fu, no! karate, ah! Thai boxing, ah! and Kwon Do. the most ferocious martial arts thriller of them all. Shattered.